Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota and we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones and tablets and other mobile devices. Now, one of the services that we're most frequently asked to perform by our clients is the removal of the Google account lock on an Android device. We'll get into the details of that a little bit later, but here for the purposes of today's video, we have an LG Aristo 2 originally from Metro PCS here in the US. And this one is actually one that has the Google account lock enabled. A client has asked us to get this phone fixed for us, and that's actually what we're going to do right here, right now. So as we can see there, it's asking us to sign back in with the account that was previously on the device, which is the symptom of when an Android device has that lock enabled. Now, before I go to remove everything here, we'll go ahead and show you the information that we're working with here. So we have the LM X210MA for the model number. And if you enter that very long model number into a Google search, it'll come up as the Aristo 2 originally from Metro. So we're just showing everyone what we're working with here. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug the phone right into our computer program and we should be able to remove the lock right here right now. It's going to take a couple minutes to get it removed. So while that's going on, I'll kind of explain a little bit about the lock itself for those who might not be familiar with it. So if you already know the story, you can go ahead and skip to the end of the video where we show that the lock is removed. Basically with the Google account lock, uh, Google introduced that back in Android 5.1 as a security feature to kind of help combat some of the fraud that goes on with the uh, buying and selling of mobile devices these days. So basically it means that when a device is factory reset without first removing the Google account that is on it, the device will then ask you to log back into that account after the reset is done. When you're going through the setup process, instead of letting you sign into any Google account that you want, it will specifically ask you to sign into the previous one in order to verify that you are the original owner of the device. Now, we've had tons of clients contact us over the years that we've been in business asking us to help us with their specific device that had the lock on it because they were scammed by a dishonest seller. It's something that happens hundreds, maybe even thousands of times a day all over the country where a dishonest seller sells a phone to an unsuspecting buyer that has the Google account lock enabled, but the buyer doesn't know enough to go through the steps and actually check it or the device can also actually even get remotely erased afterwards if the original owner lost it. Now we've also been contacted by clients who got themselves accidentally locked out of their own device because they had to do a reset and didn't remember the login information and then they couldn't reset their password or whatever the situation may have been. We're making this video here specifically today because this specific device is one that several clients have recently contacted us about saying that they specifically had a lot of issues getting it removed, whereas some other devices were easier. So we're making this video here specifically to show that our business does indeed offer a service to be able to remove that from the device. The program's running through here. Uh, this device does take a while to go through. I'm going to go ahead and leave the video as it is. If I cut it and skip to the end, then we would get all kinds of comments uh, on the video saying, no, you can't really do it. You swapped out the devices, blah, blah, blah. So I have to leave it here running uh, so that we can avoid uh, those commenters from saying that in order to prove that we can actually do it for this device. But for time's sake, you can go ahead and skip to the end of the video if you like, where you'll be able to see that we do have that removed. So we'll just be sitting here waiting for this to finish up. It'll take a few more minutes, and then we should be able to see that we're able to fully access the phone without seeing that lock enabled.
Okay, so our program has finished up running here, and now we just have to wait for the device to reboot. So we've got the LGV screen there showing up. So if we did everything correctly, we should quickly be able to see. And then we've got our Metro PCS logo. We should be able to see that the device, it should jump straight to the home screen actually, as long as we've done it correctly here. Give it one second to finish turning back on. Uh, that's right. Forgot about this step first. <clears throat> now we get the Android is upgrading screen. So now we gotta wait for that to go through. Okay, there we go. So we finally have the home screen loaded up here. So like I said, it did jump directly to the home screen. So it actually completely bypassed the uh, setup process where it's asking you for all the initial settings and configuration. Um, again, just to show you the phone information, I'll go ahead and jump back into the hardware info. <clears throat> Okay, and so then just as proof that we this is actually something that we can perform, there's the exact same model number again. So this uh, Google account lock has been completely removed from this Metro LG Aristo 2. So if you have one of these models that you need to get the Google account lock removed from, go ahead and get in touch with us because we would love to help you out with that. All of our contact info will be right in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has everything there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out all the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy down the road. Make sure to hit the subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly putting up just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español así que nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.